Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. This is part two on how to see past a narcissist boss persona, or basically, you know, how to realize when you're dealing with someone who's being fake and phony with you, and when people are lying and manipulating, okay? Which is what the narcissist is. All right, so in the part one video, I suggested that you learn how to wait and see with people because of course the narcissist does make empty promises and if we're just taking people's word for it and jumping in you know just diving into it just off of that we're leaving ourselves vulnerable of course now there's another aspect of learning how to see past a false persona and how to identify these fake and phony liars and that is Learning how to see out of our own, outside of our own perceptions. So what do I mean by this? Can you see past what you want to be able to see what it really is? Now, sometimes what we want is what it really is. But when we're dealing with a narcissist, what we want is definitely not what it is. So if you are a person that will learn how to see outside of your own perceptions in life, letting go of your need, your neediness to have something so bad, that way you're not using that cognitive dissonance to hold on to something that's toxic and minimize or be blindsided or not even see basically the reality of a situation. Okay, because you have to want the truth more than you want your desires. Okay, because your desires aren't always the reality of a situation. As a matter of fact, oftentimes, you know, in life as adults, we see things aren't always exactly the way we want it to be. You know, we work towards that. You know, we put efforts and we try to put controls into situations to try to make things the way that we want it to be. And sometimes we can get that. But we know that we're not controlling that narcissist. Okay. So if you can control your perceptions to be able to remain neutral, and, and this is challenging. I've took psychology courses in college and whatnot. And I took actually a class on perceptions and it was like really an eye opener to me. And it was just saying how hard it is for us to detach from our own biases and our own perceptions. Okay. So maybe you won't be able to fully do that, but you'll be able to do it enough to see the truth of a situation. Okay. Maybe it won't be on a hundred percent, but we don't have to use a hundred percent of our brain to make an intelligent decision you know because we read the studies where they're showing that we're only using the tiniest fraction of our brain powers and look how far we've gotten as a civilization as far as creating and inventing things so no it may not be at a hundred percent of stepping outside of your own bias because you're not going to be able to detach a hundred percent but you can do it enough to be able to see the truth but like I said, it's going to require you to want the truth over your desires. And most people aren't that disciplined. You know, a lot of people, they want what they want. And, you know, when they think they have it or they can manipulate it, they're going to twist and turn and make all types of, you know, stories up in their mind to make it make sense so that it can continue you know let's let's relate this to the person that just doesn't want to be single they're in a toxic relationship they're constantly making excuses for this person and the truth is right there but they want their desires more than their truth so whatever the comfort is that they're getting out of that relationship they're going to take all of those cons that go with it they're going to take all those discomforts, but they're going to find a way to fluff that discomfort so that they can get the trickles of comfort that they were getting. Okay. So you have to be able to step outside of your own perceptions. You have to be able to step outside of your own perceptions in life enough 
step outside of them enough to be able to see angles. And I've made lots of videos about seeing angles in life. The more you can become neutral, the more you can step into other people's shoes, the more you're going to be able to see angles in life. It's when we're stuck in our own shoes and we think everyone is like ourselves and we're only seeing things from our point of view. That's when we start getting blindsided unless you're dealing with yourself. And even some of us lie to ourselves, such as in the situations when we want our desires more than we want the truth. All right. So this is going to be definitely another very crucial aspect to you being able to see past the, nar the narcissist's false self. Can you look at the whole, the um, facts, the cold hard facts? Can you look at the cold hard facts, not the potential, not what they said it would be, but the cold hard facts? Can you do that? And when we do that, <laughs> that makes it clear as day. And it may not feel good. It may not be nice. It, you know, may shake up that desire. You letting go of that desire or maybe certain aspects that they were fulfilling for you. But on this side, you have deal breakers and they're busting your deal breakers. So now you got to make a decision once you're able to see past your own desires. Okay. Because a lot of people don't. is way more comfortable, at least we feel like that, is more comfortable to stay in the rut and use that cognitive dissonance and take the gaslighting from the narcissist than to step outside of our desires to see the truth. Now, the narcissist has desires as well. And they're pushing those desires on you in a manipulative way, but enable for you to see these tactics, you're going to have to be able to, to let it go, to let go of it. Are you willing, like I said, to let go of the desires, meaning all the way to the fullest, fullest extent. And what would that be? Even if I have to lose this person, can I keep it real with myself? If it means I'm going to end up losing this person. All right, so this again is not going to be a long video, but I just want to give you another aspect and another tool that's going to help you. So yes, we're going to wait and see what people, as long as we want to, you know, time is precious. You don't have to give anyone your time, but if you're in and embarking in a relationship, go ahead and take your time and see. And sometimes you're going to see sooner than later, but at least, like I said in that video, if you're remaining objective it's going to be easy for you to detach when that time comes, if need be, than if you just jumped off a cliff and, you know, your heart is all tied up in it. And of course, and as in this video, the next, the next aspect is going to be being able to see past your own desires and wants. Okay. Because sometimes what we desire and want is not what we need anyway. We want it, but we don't need it or it's not the right time for us. So, you know, we have to get real about these things. All right. And not be blinded and have those rosy colored glasses on because you want it so bad. This is why, you know, people marry people that they know are not there forever. They know it, but they really want that ring. They really want to say that they're married. They really want to be in that relationship. They want to have an image or everyone else got married. So, Hey, I'll settle for you. I'll take this out. And they know something inside of them knows what they're going through the motion because their desire is bigger than the reality. Okay, guys. So if this video resonates with you, you can go ahead and hit the like button. If you haven't done so already, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell if you haven't so that you'll be notified when I upload videos. I have books, guys, on Barnes and Nobles and Amazon.com to help you heal from narcissistic abuse, help you with your shadow work, and a wealth of relationship advice on there. If you like my videos, you will definitely love my books. All right. They are available in ebook and you can get a hard copy book as well. 
There's a support group, guys, on Facebook, Lakia Reflection and Progression Crawford. Just inbox me and let me know that you're a survivor. I get a lot of random requests, and I'm keeping it, you know, as tight as I can and trying to make it just for survivors, all right? Um, I'm going to be starting a Patreon. As a matter of fact, I've kind of, I've already started setting it up, but I'm not ready to offer it to you guys yet, but that's going to be an even more exclusive way to interact with me. There'll be videos and um, information that I'm not going to put on Facebook or Instagram or on YouTube, and it'll be exclusive just for the people that are following me on Patreon. That will be a membership-based platform. But, you know, you will definitely see a value in that, especially if you cannot afford coaching. But I'll tell you more about that in, um, when the time comes. All right. Other than that, I do offer coaching and I do that over the phone. I do email coaching. I also do Skype and I do FaceTime over WhatsApp, guys. If you go to LakiaCrawford.com and click the coaching tab, you will see the full menu there. Um, it's definitely a great investment. I know I got to a part of my healing process where I needed to take it beyond YouTube videos. And all of you really, I just across the board, I can't see a survivor not needing to take it off of, you know, take it beyond YouTube videos, not off of, but beyond. All right. So be willing to invest in yourself. Um, peace of mind is definitely priceless. So always keep that in mind, guys. And if you want to get that coaching, that information is under the description of all my videos. I also want to say thank you to those of you that donate to the channel. I try to say this in every video, but oftentimes I forget it. But if you would like to donate to the channel, there is a link under most of the videos that you can donate through the PayPal and Cash App if the channel has blessed you. And, you know, even if you think it's a small donation, I really appreciate all the thoughtfulness. All right. Um, other than that, you guys, you, you can do this. It's just really learning how to uh, break these toxic behaviors and sh shift our perceptions. If you genuinely shift your perception, your body will follow. You ever hear them say, get the mind and the body will follow? Yeah, so you start working on your mind, your body will follow. Talk to the person that's going through the diet that's forcing themselves to eat the salad because they feel like they're depriving themselves from all the sugars and the goodies that they used to eat as opposed to the person who has retrained their way of thinking and they don't see it as I'm, I'm robbing myself of this, I'm denying myself of this. They're seeing it as I'm choosing my heart health. I'm choosing um, a better cholesterol. I'm choosing lower body fat. I'm choosing a healthier lifestyle. I'm choosing to eat to live. I'm choosing something that's actually going to fuel my body in a positive manner. You know, that person is going to stick with this healthy lifestyle change a lot better than the person that's going to feel like a punishment and dragging their feet because they, their perceptions haven't changed. So you got to get to the mind first, guys. Get your mind right. The body tends to follow that because your mind is controlling it. More than not, you know, we have our flesh too. All right. But that's also a part of our perceptions. All right, guys. So until next time, I really hope this video has helped you. Definitely feel free to like and share any and all of my videos. There's over 300 videos. If you are having a, day, a rough day with your narcissistic abuse or that toxic relationship or in your shadow work, I have a playlist, guys motivational playlist for survivors of narcissistic abuse over 30 videos in there all to uplift your spirit when you are having those days moments and times when you are feeling triggered all right so there's a lot of help for you out here on the internet and there's definitely a lot of help on my channel guys all right so thank you to all my subscribers and all my day ones that have been here and supporting and all my newbies I hope that you, um, you know, find a lot of help on this channel. That is the whole point. And until next time, guys, please take care.